Hey guys, well, uh, it's been a little bit since I first came out with the elevator control system, and there are a couple updates available, uh, one of which makes it easier for folks to get set up in the uh, server environment where you don't have access to copy files and stay into the install directory. Uh, and there's also a bug fix relating to open side issues. Uh, some folks got a red net message last time. Uh, it's a little more adaptive this time. So, uh, if you have an existing install of the elevator control system in your environment, um, you, when you go ahead and turn on a computer, uh, you might go ahead and get the uh, normal system. Go ahead and drop that out. You'll see that you have the door settings and the startup you had before. Go ahead and remove the existing startup. And we'll go ahead and get from Pastebin a new code. And these will all be in the description, of course. And you want to go ahead and get that as startup. The file that I just got, uh, this one is the door control, and so now when we go ahead and reboot the computer, uh, it'll go ahead and automatically update with the current API, uh, and it will install the door controller for this machine and things will continue to work. You don't have to redo any of your settings. Uh, if this is your first time up, the setup process is the same. You just don't have to remove any existing startup process. Uh, you'll want to do uh, every machine. You'll use the different links for the motor controller, all of your door controllers, as well as your cabin. There are updates for each of them uh, to make the API uh, work a little more smoothly for everyone. And uh, that does obviously require that your server environment allow your computer control access to pastebins get. But uh, hopefully that helps everyone. And I'll, as usual, answer any questions I can in the comments.